Today we're going to be doing an arm focused Pilates workout from a kneeling position. Now, if kneeling isn't comfortable for you, don't worry. You can do all of the kneeling exercises standing or we take our hands down onto the mat. You're going to do a standing option hand on chair instead. One quick tip before we begin is when we're kneeling, I really want you to engage from your glutes opening up through the hips, that area right here. Now, if you're in this position with kind of your tail feathers sticking out, the hips are going to stay somewhat tight and locked. In addition, we may start feeling and experiencing more work in your back, which we definitely don't want with these exercises. So give a nice squeeze, which I'll refer to from the glutes, open up the hips and just natural curves of spine. With that, let's go ahead and get started with the class. Let's go ahead and begin in a high kneel position. Remember your option if you're not gonna kneel, come standing. Heels of the feet together, toes apart, so Pilates V. Engage the glutes, arms reach forward, warming up, pull arms back and return. Pull arms back, return. Don't worry, the intensity of this class is going to ramp up very quickly. So let's just take the time to go through the motions Get familiar with them, keeping shoulders open right now, no work in the neck. Now reach arms all the way up, circle around. And if with your arms reaching all the way up, that doesn't feel nice, you can do a smaller circle. So large or small circle, reverse your direction. Keep pressing into feet, strong lower body and center to support moving arms. Very nice. Now take hands down to the mat. If you're standing, hand, hands come to the chair. One arm reaches back, lift, fingers tap. Same arm, lift and tap. Equal weight along the knees and feet. Keep arm lifted, open out to the side. Lower down, lift. And as you're doing this, we're still maintaining shoulders square to the floor. Keep arm lifting, reach arm overhead. Lower and lift, lower and lift. One last time. Replace hand, switch sides, opposite arm reaches. So we'll maintain natural curves of spine right now. Arm stays lifted, open, lower, lift. Deep breathing, lift, reach in front, lower lift. After this, we're going to grab our weights. Hand comes underneath you. Now, if you have a heavier weight, grab your heavier weight. Straighten one leg back behind you, opposite arm with the weight, reaches back slow and return. So that same lift that we just had, but it's just a little bit slower. Get more strength because we have a weight. Now let's keep arm lifted, bend just the elbow and straight, slow and controlled. Pressing into the feet evenly, as evenly as possible. Keep arm straight, open arm across from the shoulder, lower down and lift. This one most likely is going to feel much more challenging. We're still trying to keep shoulders square to the floor. One last time. Very nice, set the weight down. Switch sides, opposite leg goes straight. Take hold of weight and find your lift and lower. Pressing into feet, just the arm moving. Upper arm stays lifted, bend the elbow, extend, bend, extend. Two more times. One last time, open the arm, lower down and lift. Now, if these exercises are feeling easy, most likely you need to grab heavier weights. This should be challenging in just the right way. One last time. Very nice, weight comes down, grab your lighter weights. 
So in just the right way, as your arms are working, not into your neck or high upper shoulders, press into feet, hips open here, circles open, reach forward. Remember, you can do smaller circles or move with the big circle. Even with the big circles, this isn't about the neck. Lifting taller with your spinal column, imagine. Grounding down through with your feet. One last time. And now we reverse. Reach forward, lift and sweep up. Open. Slow it down. When you notice your arms want to speed up, that's when I want you to slow down instead. Get a little bit more benefits from the exercise that way. And one last time. Very nice. Now bicep curl, low bicep curl. Right now this bicep curl should feel easy. If it's feeling challenging, you may want lighter weights or you're gonna keep your arms low. Or keep your elbows bent, lift your arms up and same bicep curl. With the upper arms lifted, it's gonna be more work for arms. Keeping spine really still, natural curves, just movement from the elbows. Two more times. Keep the arms bent. Now we lower down, we press up. Lower down and press up. And I want you to squeeze your arms. So really tense and engage your biceps more. Two more times. Keep your arms parallel, open the arms out to the side and close. And your hands and weights will stay framing your face the entire time. Let's do two, and one last time. Beautiful, lower down. Now if you need a little bit of a break, put this on pause, or right away, I'm gonna take hold of either your heavier weights or your heavier and your light weights. You want this to be challenging again, just in the right way. Feet down, knees bent. Slight bend in the elbows. Open arms, inhale, exhale, close. So this first exercise should feel strengthening for arms, gets into the chest, but no strain. If you're experiencing strain, you need a lighter set of weights. One last time. Keep the arms up, and now bring the elbows narrow to the pelvis and reach up. So the arms just skim your shirt and reach up. You still sink movement with your deep breathing. Pause here, flip the palms to face the legs. Bend the elbows wide, push to straight. Bend wide, take your time, push to straight. Another indicator that you may want weights a little bit lighter. If you're experiencing a lot of work in your neck, we want the arms and chest to get stronger right now, not the neck. So sometimes we can recruit there if it's too heavy. Keep the arms lifted, rotate palms to face one another again. Now bend the elbows, weights come back behind you and arms go straighter. So upper arms stay straight. And I like to think rather than Weights towards the head, weights to the shoulders. Just two more times, two. And one last time, one. Very nice, bring the arms in by your side and coming up to a seated position. Lighter weights is my recommendation. Sitting nice and tall, legs bent or legs straight. Reach the arms in front of you, bend the elbows, then open the arms to the sides of the room, bend, reach forward. Bend, open, bend, forward. Pause, knuckles in, bend, open, and forward. 
forward. Now you can keep it here, especially if natural curves of your spine is better than round for you. Keep your arms bent, reverse, roll yourself down part way, heels stay heavy, rowing one. Open arms, exhale, bend forward, push arms back, reach arms up, circle around. Remember you can stay with the first motion of just the arms or we're doing full rowing one with weights, pushing back, reach, lift up, circle around, stretch further forward and rolling up, knuckles in, just one more time. Reach, lift up, circle around, sit up tall, palms face up, bicep curl, bicep curl. Again, you can stay with your bicep curl or bicep curl. Let's pivot back, reach and lift up, stretch forward, arms stay forward, roll the spine up, palms up, bicep curl, pivot back. Reach and lift up, stretch further forward, rolling up, palms up one more time, curl, pivot, reach, lift, stretch, rolling up, rowing three, hands come near the shoulders, all about posture, sitting tall here, arms reach forward, fingers tap down, reach arms up to the ceiling, circle around slow, hands near the shoulders. Reach, we are on the home stretch of the arm exercises. This is when we have to dig a little bit deeper. Now you can keep with this exercise or round yourself forward, reach your arms forward. Slowly roll up, arms reach to ceiling, open arms. So if loaded flex flexion isn't your jam or isn't good for you, Stay with your last option. One more time. Very nice, arms stay open. Cross the legs, crisscross applesauce, hug a big tree and close. We're two more exercises to go, that's it. With the weights that is. Just a three, two, and one, keep the arms open, switch the cross of the legs, lean forward just slightly and bring the hands right in front of the forehead, lift your chest up, elbows wide, reach arms to straighter and bend, straighter and bend. We're almost there. Let's do two and one more time. Beautiful, to finish it off, we're going into some plank work. So shoulders will stay working a little bit, but squeezing in a little bit more for your core. Elbows or forearms down, press into your feet. Legs go straight, breathing deeply. And of course, you can always take one knee down or both, or you maintain plank. Now, if you're in full plank, give it a test. Rock forward, rock back, rock forward and back. This should be really isolated into the arms, still the shoulders, into your front center, strong legs, not in the back whatsoever. One last time, keep ankles still and take a few more deep breaths here. A little bit of shaken, shaken in just the right way. Another deep breath. Then let your knees come down, relax, and release back, inhale. Exhale, roll yourself up. Notice how you're feeling after that very focused class, all for upper body. If you enjoyed this workout, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. That way I know to make more classes like this. I hope you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon.